Oh, shalom. Uh, I know there's a, a, a brother or sister who had commented that they enjoy the teachings of His Majesty that are taught and the preaching of the good news, the King of Kings and His Christ is proclaimed by I in a ras yadinos tesari or wendem yada, brother yada of this society, the Lion of Judah society of the Imperial Majesty. However, they mentioned that they were somewhat um, turned off. I don't know if they say disgusted, you know, but, um, you know, free speech is still important. And um, that, you know, when we lit up, I think when we, uh, they said when we lit up, something to that effect. Um, but they might have spoken in a certain particular idiom, you know, um, when we blazed up, I think they said when we blazed up, they were somewhat offended. And, you know, we don't mean to offend with that, but still, we try not to over, I can't say over, uh, rely or deep end upon it, you know? Sometimes it's just, it's a, it's a Isla thing, you know? It's a holy thing, it's a Kedus thing, this, this, this it. Now, of course, in a sabbatical um, reading and feeding, that um, we have gone through in the book of Exodus, and still there's some areas of Exodus that we like to go over and to cover again and to go into a little bit more detail. But this is a very active news season, you know, very active. When I say news, I'm not talking about the news of the world. I'm talking about the good news, in the good news, in in the revelation of Rastafari, a very active um, season for those of us who are who are, um, for lack of a better word, we use the word conscious and consciousness. But we're speaking about Christ, Christos, the true Christ, within I and I. Yehovah Sam, I and I know that I and I is Yeshua. You understand? We are Yeshua. When you understand the fullness of the teaching, we are Yeshua. You know, Yeshua represents us. You see, that so-called vicariousness is a reality in the true esoteric teaching of Rastafari. You know, but don't don't um, make any mistake about it. The Itan or the It is Kedus. And we want to make a brief point about it. Um anyway Basically, what we wanted to say is that I and I don't say that the herb, the cannabosum, should be legal. I and I say that the cannabosum is, is legal already. Uh huh. The it, we call it the it, is legal already. In Ja law. But are we, as Rastafari, fully living in Ja law? Do we know Ja Torah? Do we know what the Torah says, the covenant? Are we in covenant? Do we understand? Do we apply? Do we, in other words, do we have the knowledge? And if we have the knowledge, are we willing to apply it, both individually and collectively, to build I and I community? This is why I think it's very important that we say at the outset that many Rastafari and Rastas. You know, I'll go around talking about legalize it, legalize it. I and I say, nah, no. It's first of all, it's legal already for us in covenant in the Kal Kidan, but it's not, it's not, it's not legal for the for the goyim. You understand what the goyim are? It's not legal for the heathen and the sheathen, you know, to to abuse. That's why when you just Google marijuana, marijuana got a bad name. They got a bad name, not because of Ainai Rastafari, but they make a joke out of Ainai because we make a joke out of Ainai selves. You know, speaking this talk about legal. You know, I love Tosh. Peter Tosh, Brother Tosh. Ainai love Brother Tosh. You know, because some would say, well, Tosh did that song and Ainai love that song, so therefore, how can you say we shouldn't say legalize marijuana, legalize the kind of bosom? Because legal already. You see, you have to understand that I and I are not Tashites. I and I are Rastafari. Therefore, we're 
to be in the illumination or light of his imperial majesty. So when we light up, it's an illumination. It must, it should be in covenant for those of us who seek to keep it faithful and true. In other words, to keep it real in the real is real and the Israelitish and the Israelite way as Beta Israel with that new name as Rastafari. It's not it should not be legal for we should stop talking about legalizing for everyone. The Kanabosum is legal for I and I and we have to be about the Torah, be about Jalor. We have to apply it to ourselves individually in the Kalakidan in covenant to build our community and our and our green, speaking about the green economy, you understand, and the green Christianity, the true Rastafari, and more to come on that particular subject matter, our sustainable economy, you know, because the word says where there's no vision, the the people live loosely, or the people live slack, you know, like that's what's going on right now. Everybody, you know, like to smoke weed. You know, and even among I and I who, you know, um, are Rastafari in this wilderness, many think that they're forced in situations to hustle the herb. And we have a prison ministry, and we minister to many brothers who are incarcerated and, and their families for these quality of life crimes. And this, and, and this is affecting, adversely affecting I and I manpower as Rastafari. Although those who are going through those experiences, um, you know, are being tried, as the word says. They're being tried and purified and refined. Speaking of those brothers and sisters who are incarcerated, you know, and each of us have a responsibility in, in remembering and not forgetting them, you know, and our society is about that honorable task and, and we call for the for the willing hearts and minds to to, to co labor, to, to covenant with I and I. I'm speaking mainly to the Rastafari and, and all conscious, truly conscious black man, woman and child. But the herb, the marijuana, we we're not about should it should be legal, it should marijuana be legal. I and I as Rastafari says it's legal already. But on that answer, in the political context in which it's proclaimed, we say, no, we should not be about legalizing for everybody. We should be establishing I and I, human rights, as Rastafari, according to the Human Rights Declaration. Therefore, to stop this criminalization of our faith-based community for the possession, the use, or within the holy sense, distribution of the Kanan Bolsa. And that's what I and I campaign should be about. Now, I know there's a lot of ones and ones. I'm not going to, you know, um, I'm not going to insult ones by, by saying, like the world says, like weed heads. But you know what I mean, and, and you know what we're speaking about. There's many ones and ones, and, and, and in a sense, for them, it is, it is holy. They're not doing no... No, no wickedness when they burn, and it helps them to relax and even to think about Ja or to think about higher thoughts, to, to even go within. So, you know, they might be called weed heads, you know, like, oh, you like to burn weed, so forth and so on. But if, if they hear this message and can recognize, you know, what we're saying, we want you to join I and I campaign, you understand, to, to, Defend at this point, we're in a defensive mode as Rastafari because of all the half stepping that has gone on in the skylarking among others. For whatever reasons, we're not we're not judging that right now. You know, there's you know we're not judging the the various individuals, but overall. Ones have sidestepped, you know, or have uh, overstepped, or are not stepping right in Rastafari when they talk about just legalizing for everybody. 
You know, people have rolled on I and I on on Zion train with this herb and marijuana issue, and yet our communities are being disadvantaged in many ways, namely with the criminalization, with the harassment, with the profiling and targeting for the possession of it. And we go through the same thing. We say, oh, well, it's in the Bible, so forth and so on, and blah, 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 and God gave us an herb, and it's for everybody, but we are Rastafari, and, and we're, not, we're not connecting the dots, you know? And Father Vision, you know, if you don't know how to count, then you, you're not able to know which dots connect with which dots. And so, therefore, you're not getting the full picture. And that's just, that's the situation right now. But it's just a word on the whole um, marijuana issue because people ask sometimes, what do we think? Do we think that marijuana should be should be like legalized? Should 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 Obama legalize marijuana? We should be speaking about Rastafari sacramental rights instead of just talking in a general way for for even the heathen and the sheathen that only want to exploit it and use it for many times their own, you know, perverted reasons. So they use within the herb is holy, yet we're treating the herb like a whore and not protecting its sanctity in I and I community. So we already proved, and it's already proven that the herb is in the scriptures in the Bible, first of all, in the Hebrew Bible. That's where we get the, the name Kanabosim from. That's that's already proven. It's already proven who we are as a people and, and the revelation of Rastafari. This is this is a known thing. Whether people agree with it, whether they accept it for themselves, we've already proven that it's a fact, that the evidence is there. So, you know, they can choose to hear or to forbear. But the fact is the fact. I and I have done the math. So we have that knowledge. Now we have to act knowledge. We have to act on that knowledge. So it's about the Rastafari sacramental rights, not to support or endorse, you've said, the heathen and she and the goyim that get first pick at the herb, and, and, and now you have the medicinal, medical marijuana. Everybody talking about every sort of type of issue, you understand, about marijuana, and we're just like little silly children or disobedient children don't recognize that we have to maintain our own. You know, I mean, that's that's the covenant. We have to main and I is Rastafari. So, so where are we speaking about our community, our rights? You know, the decriminalization of marijuana. That should be the issue that we put forward to Obama or to any sort of, you know, uh, temporal rulers and authorities. You know, because the testimony of His Majesty Teacher and I, you know, that. When there are just laws and, and just rulers, you know, we are we're to humble and to abide. When, if, they, if they recognize, first of all, our faith-based rights, and I think the marijuana issue is a key issue for us to, how can you say, um, to, to change the whole conversation on that subject matter concerning legalization and, and, and who has the right to what and so forth and so on because, you know, that medicinal marijuana issue, yeah, if it really, we know, we already know that it's healing. We've been saying it's the healing of the nation, yet we still are being violated and we're allowing ourselves to be violated because we're not taking a stance when it's demanded of us to take a stance as Rastafari and to defend it and to build our community. You know, there's economic reasons in it too. We already know there's economic reasons in it. But the holy goes first. You know what I mean? That which is holy goes first. And if we defend Yahweh, we defend Yahweh, then Yahweh, then Yahweh, then Jah defends I and I. So when we look around and say, why don't we have this? Why don't we have that? Why, you know, is the movement in a, in a state of inertia, it should be obvious. You know, we have to put Jah first. You know, and Jah says the covenant, the Torah, the law is first. And the first aspect of the law and the covenant is for people, for people to be sovereign 
and for people to be sustainable. And that's not the way it is up until now. So make this a new day, a new day. All right, brothers and sisters. Anyway, a little bit more on this. We didn't, like we said, we didn't script it out, but it's been something on my mind, and um, in in reasonings with different ones and ones, you know, we've we've kind of spoken on these same issues, probably a little more eloquently with different ones and ones in different situations. After all, like you know, we don't want to offend some of the ones out there. We want you first to get this message so you might understand why we take such a bold stance. You know, with the kind of bolsa. Not just to demonstrate that we recognize I and I rights, you understand, but also to show ones and ones what's the foundation of this. So, come, help, build, and till, and may I and I meet in Zion. Yes, I. Am. So, you know, let it not offend you. Let not your heart be troubled. Trust in the King of Kings and His Christ, and trust in I and I. Shalom, Rastafari.